morning. You're probably wondering where is she up to today. Well, I'm not gonna hike, I'm gonna cycle today. I'm gonna do the Classico Boreto in the Netherlands. Oh well, around here instead. But it's a 65 to kilometer tour, so I'm ready. Yes. It's pretty cold out here in the morning, but I came prepared with just a little buff in the head and gloves, so I'll be alright. Yeah, I wanted to stop here because this is, you know, a really nice road where you had, you used to have really big trees on both sides of the of the road, but you know there was a big storm in 2016, and one out of two trees just fell, and so they had to take it all out and they put on new trees. So I hopefully in a in a few years there will be a really nice road again with the higher trees but for the moment well I think they already look nice I think the, the road is blocked here. We'll just have to wait until all those cows have passed. Looks like there are really quite a lot. Okay, behind me you can see the Albert Channel. It goes from the harbour in Antwerp all the way to Liège and it was built in the beginning of the 1900s. It opened up in 1946, so this is the Albert Channel. I need a banana brick. Put it in a nice box so it's not squeezed. If you're wondering where I get those challenges from, check out keepmoving.eu. There you can find all the events that are taking place, but you can do them virtually and you get a medal at the end. So check it out! We have arrived at the sea mine. That's the old mine from Genk and they changed this into a cultural site where you have behind here there are some theaters. 
and there is the Euroscope, the cinema. And for the moment it's all quiet here, nobody around. And so I think I'm gonna take a break. I'm about halfway of my tour and I think I deserve it. So let's have a break. So I brought this lunch. It's a, a pasta salad. I thought that would be nice for my classical. I'm doing a, a bit, a bit of Italian influence. Uh, I put in some uh, horse eggs, carrots, tomatoes, radish, uh, goat cheese, and some meat. When I'm uh, cycling like this, I do wonder what do I prefer, hiking or cycling? And I think it will be hiking. And I'll tell you why. Because, well, cycling has the advantage of being able to go further, to carry more. But on the other hand, I think you stay more on the, yeah, something bigger routes. Well, when you hike, you go more into nature and I prefer the smaller paths and being more out in the country. Even the slower pace gives me more of an yeah, outdoor feeling, gives me rest. So I think, yeah, I prefer hiking, definitely. So I put on my Classico based on the node system for cycling in Limburg and I have a map here and we're here going up to point 69 so we did just 29 so we're around here and we still have a long way to go We arrived at uh, point 69, we have uh, a few more to go, so let's move on. As I'm uh, not really a cycler, I don't have a race bike or anything, so I took my electrical bike. I thought that was a great idea. The only thing is the distance. It was like, you know, 65k and that's not how far my battery will go on the higher support level so I had to put it in the echo most of the time which made it a lot harder to cycle and so not very ideal if you want to do longer stretches yeah a race bike definitely better every once in a while there is a map of this uh, cycle node and you can figure out where you are you see right there and we came from here 29 going down here and then up here and still have a long way to go but um, the way I do it I write it on a little piece of paper all the notes I have to follow 
and now you just have to look on it and just go for the next one. That looks like a perfect spot to have a little break. I think I'll just do that. Perfect timing for this bench. I did like 55 feet now, so I'm uh, up for a little break. Um, my daughter made some homemade brownies yesterday, so I'll have this with something to drink. It looks like I already got my challenge. Yes! The only problem is I'm still not home. So I have to go a little further, about I think eight kilometers or something. Okay, let's go. So this is about the last eight K extra I have to do. Total was like 40 miles. So that one already have uh, another let's say five to go so I'll be fine and the good part is, is I don't have to save my battery anymore so I can just put it on turbo now so I go a lot faster which is uh, nice for those last few kilometers I made it back. Oof. It was pretty hard, especially the last kilometer, because uh, I had a flat battery. I guess I was a bit too enthusiastic about putting it into turbo. So, but we made it back, and so it was still was a lot of fun. I don't know if I'm ever going to be a real cycler, but it was uh, good to do it. And uh, next time. I'll probably do something else so I hope you enjoyed coming with me today and let's go for next time next week bye